All right, so welcome back for the next session of today's class, and uh, it's about C sharp booleans. Okay, so C sharp booleans is the topic that we are going to learn, or I'm going to teach you after strings. Okay, I hope there is no question about strings. I hope you understood it. Now, C sharp. Booleans are very often in programming you will need them or you will need a data type that can only have two values like Yes or no on or off true or false. So most of the time we use booleans for those things In programming like you're developing an application So you are having a button for turning it on or turning it off or a question You are raising whether you're giving option of yes or no or true or false, right? So at that time we are making use of booleans okay so that's what booleans are okay so a very short definition of it very often or in some or in sometimes we can say simply sometimes in programming programming we will need a data type that can only have one or two values. For example, values, we can say, for example, you can say first one like yes or no, that's two values, or you can say on or off button. Third is true and false. So for these things, for these yes, no, on, or true, false, or whatever the uh, options you want to have, true, false, or male, female, sometimes something like that. C sharp has has a data type which I've told you already a data type called B O O L bowl which can take the values true or false and whenever you have to define any variable using the boolean option we are using the data type bool okay so how do we do that an example to demonstration is here which i'm going to show you right now so booleans simply as we were discussing strings before so we used to take or we were supposed to take strings and we did that and now if it's booleans as i've told you we are using the data type bool and for example we can say is make a student is make here we can say yes again bowl is make absent No, true, which not be yes, it should be, for example, true and false. F A L S E, false. If you have to define them, console dot right line, and then we'll say the variable name is, but in the string, first of all, is 
information present today let's say plus is make here then and so dot right line will say is make absent today plus we can say is make absent false that's it so boolean is the topic we are using bool as a data type we have defined a variable stored true over there bool another variable make is absent is false then we wanted to display it using those statements and save it you can click on f5 key and you will have the answers here is make present today true is make absent today false that means make is present here make is not absent clear yeah, it's clear. Very nice. So that's what is about Boolean. And then we have expressions also, or you can say Boolean expressions like greater than, less than, which we are going to learn in the coming sessions. Equal sign, I have already taught you these things. And these were all the basic things that I have taught you so far in the book or in the course of C Sharp. Okay, now I am going to start the statements, if else statement. Do you have any question until now? Nope. All is clear, right? All right, let's go. And this was the basic thing that I have taught you or I'm being teaching you since the startup of c -Shop. now from today we are going to move towards the advanced things in c -Shop. and the first advanced thing is learning about if else statements or you can say these are conditional statements okay so if else statements Okay, what or if else statements? Do you have any idea? Statements that, that follow a criteria, whether it's true or false. Yes, yeah, so statements that follow a criteria. Simply, if you have to check the conditions, if you have to write a code or write a program or write a, a program to develop an application which is based on conditions, suppose, we want to write a program for a school management system where we will say that if the, we will give a criteria like the criteria is if the student is having the marks greater than 40, it's passed. If it's greater than 50, then grade is D. If it's greater than uh, 670, then grade is, you can say C. If it's greater than 80, then grade is B. If it's greater than 90, then grade is A. You understand? So these are conditions that we will use in these kinds of statements like if else okay so c sharp supports i'm always using this c sharp supports the logical you can say logical conditions From mathematics you must be wondering what's this mathematics with if else we are using the conditions and the conditions are like what are the things that we use from mathematics for example we use less than right we use less than or equal to the symbol as you know right the symbol can be 
here it's what less than here here it is less than or equal to both the symbols together it should be less than or equal to a number and then greater than is there then greater than or equal to we are using or we use equal equals to and then we use not equals to these are all the operators which I have taught you right so you can use these all the operators all the operators like greater than less than logical operators to perform different actions for different decisions and c sharp is having the following conditional statements if we are having if then we are having else else if and then switch at lost okay so we're using if to specify a block of code to be executed if a specified condition is true else we use a block of code to be executed if the same condition is false else if is to specify a new condition to test if the first condition is false and in switch we use to specify many alternative blocks of code which we want to execute or which code gets executed or you want to get executed based on some criteria based on some cases okay so now we will start with the if statement as it's the first one so we'll start with if statement of c sharp control b so in this example we will use if statement to specify a block of code to be executed if a condition is true so what's the syntax of do you know the syntax of if? Mm -hmm. It's the same that I'm being teaching you in my, I've been teaching you since the last one year. I taught you it in C programming language. I taught you it in JavaScript and Java even. So simply if it's, if, it, if, it, if, 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 if it's, it's simply that if condition, and then the statements, sorry, the curly brackets. Within it, we are going to have block of code to be executed. Or you can say statements. That's the syntax that we do have. So if the condition that you want, a variable like 10 greater than, a variable like age is greater than this, then print this, if age is greater, or the marks are greater than 30, then print this, else, else, else. Those things we're gonna learn later, later on. Okay, you need to remember that if is in lowercase letters, uppercase letters, if and if will not generate or will generate an error. So it should be always in lower cases. Okay. Now we'll go and create a new project, console app.net core. I will name it as conditional statements. And create. I want to save the previous one. Yes. All right. So I am going to delete this console dot write statement. So the first if statement, a very simple one. According to the syntax, if, for example, twenty is greater than thirty, what are we going to do? Simple from the beginning. If this is the syntax, so I added in the condition I added 20, if 20 is greater than 30, console, I should be able to display or the program should be able to return simply 20 or you can add anything. It's the
let's see, marks off. It can be the maximum mark of English or you can say Android. Development. Save it. What's the issue here? Doesn't matter. Save it and run it. What happened? Using the system. What's the problem? Console or bright line? Let's say I'm going to define a variable called integer marks equals to 65 integer marks is equal to 89 if max first is greater than max Then, it's not a good thing. So I have defined directly, I have stored the values directly in the variables, uh, 89, and then if marks first is greater than marks or means, student is having distinction, distinction. Save it and run it. Student is having distinction. Okay, so if it's not, it will give a null value. So if marks, we can say integer marks is called a 65, or you can say these are 
Max Carlos and Max Nick. So I can say Max Carlos is greater than Max Carlos Nick greater than Max of Carlos. Then Mick is having more marks than Carol's. That's how we can modify it in a very different way. Right, so you can see Mick is having more marks than Carlos because the condition is true. If it will be like less than, condition will become false. Okay, because Mick is not having Mick is ha not having less marks than Carlos. He's having more. So when you run it, it's gonna return null value because the condition is false here. So it will just execute the code only if the condition is true. Otherwise, it will not execute this code. It will come out if there is any else statement, then it will print that. As we have not added any else statement here, it will not print anything. Got it? This is the basic yeah. syntax of if else. Sorry, if statement. All right, so next is else statement. the else statement so else can be always used with if so condition if condition over here is true then execute the statement that is inside here otherwise else whatever is here execute that okay so this is the example of if and else. Let's go and try to learn more about if and else. Suppose I am just going to give you the same example. I'm going to define one variable of type int, for example, age equals to 20. Now, if age is greater than or equal to 20, we'll say statements console dot right line then mm -hmm, you are eligible to enter the shopping malls during the during COVID-19. Else, if the condition becomes false, then what do you want? It's E-L-S-E, -E, else. What do we want? We want console.right line. We'll say if it's not going to satisfy the condition, you or we are sorry, Oh, I is not allowing you to enter into 
the shopping mall. Checking the condition. This is a very simple program for checking the condition. We are having some errors here. What is that now? Yeah, semicolon. Save it and then you can run it to get the output. You will see here the condition is true right now, greater or equal to you're eligible to enter the shopping malls during COVID-19, but if you make it as 19 and then check it again, which is less than the condition age is greater than or equal, it will not execute this, it will execute this thing. That means your age is less, okay? So you can see, you, uh, we are sorry MOI is not allowing you to enter into the shopping malls. That's how do we make use of if and else statements. Okay, got it? Yes, I got it. Yep, great. So these are just the basics. Let me hold on a sec. So this is the basic example of if our statement. Now let's move forward and try to go with some advanced things with this statement. Suppose that you want to calculate the even, or you want, or you want to write a program which will help you to check the even numbers and odd numbers, okay? Suppose that you want a user should input the number and we should give the results to the user whether you have entered an odd number or an even number, right? So, how can we allow the user? Mm -hmm. Say it again, so I didn't hear that. How can we allow the user? I taught you this thing. How can we allow the user to enter the input? How can we allow the user to enter the input? Oh my gosh, console.writeline, please. Uh -huh. It was about age or- Console.readline, sir. Convert32, console.readline. General, first of all, I'm just telling the user enter the number. Then, I'm going to use integer a variable uh, number name. equals to convert, convert dot to 32 to n32. Convert dot two into 32. In 32. And then inside okay. it, I'm going to use console dot read line. Okay, and then semicolon. And then I'm going to use the if statement, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if number is greater than, sorry, if number mod is two, if it's divided by two and the value is zero, then when you mod the number with two and the value becomes equal to zero, then we can say that it's even. Console dot right line, we can say it's an even number. 
semicolon else we can say it's else not l so else we can say console dot right line the number is odd that's it so the question is a simple the uh, program is all about asking a user to input the number and based on that take the decision whether that number is even or odd so number mod by two when you divide it by two if the number is divided by two or if you compare it if you calculate the mod of a number by two which is equal, equal to zero then console right line it's an even number if the value will become zero then that is an even number otherwise that's not an even number when you save it and run it it will be asked to give you a number so for example i'm having a number called 100 it's an even number because it is divided by two all right then if i'm going to type for example 99 the number is odd because it's not divided by two the number is not divided by two you understanding yeah so that's how do we calculate the even and odd numbers a very simple example to calculate or to ask the user to input the details and then get the username and i'm uh, sorry get the even number or odd number clear mm -hmm. yes. all right so that's enough for now we will take a short break and come back again after 20 minutes all right so i hope you have understood each and everything if there is anything or any question you can ask me everything is clear yeah clear. all right so in the next 20 minutes i'm going to join again and then we'll move ahead with more examples of if else and try to solve the more complex uh, problems using if else statements okay until that just try to practice yourself and if there is any question, you can ask me after the break. Take a short break and come back again. Okay, I will inform you once I will be back. All right? All right. All right, bye-bye. Take care. See you.